best water temperature for your coffee is between 88 and 94 degrees centigrade. So to achieve that, you just take it off the boil and it will mean that it's not going to create a bitter taste. Consistency is key when making coffee and the ratio to aim for is 60 grams of coffee per litre of water. The easiest way to make sure that you get that is to make your coffee on a set of scales. As an alternative, weigh the contents on the actual spoon and you can multiply that weight up to the required 60 grams per one litre. If you like your coffee stronger, don't brew it for longer, but rather increase the dose. If you like your coffee weaker, don't brew it for shorter, brew it correctly and then dilute to taste afterwards. When using filter paper, rinse the filter paper firstly, just with some hot water. And that'll remove any papery tastes and leave you a nice clean filter paper to start using. When making a stovetop, if you add cold water and then heat it up, temperature travels up the jug and starts baking your coffee. If you boil the water first, the process happens a lot quicker and you'll improve the flavour of your coffee. If you like the heavier, stronger coffees, quite often a cafetiere is really good. If you like more delicate, thinner bodied coffees, something with a paper filter like the Chemex is really good. One thing to look out for when looking for a grinder is a burr grinder rather than a blade grinder. This kind of grinder is actually gonna give you the most consistent grind size and that will then give you the perfect cup of coffee. When choosing the brewer that's right for you, it's really important to be able to make sure that you can clean it properly. So make sure you can take it apart in order to do that. When we talk about body and coffee, what we mean is the weight of the liquid on your tongue. The easy way to think of this is the difference between skim milk and full fat milk. We also talk about acidity in coffee. And what we mean by that is the tingle you often feel at the side of your mouth. The easy way to think of that is the difference between skim milk and a freshly squeezed orange juice. If you really like grinding your beans fresh, a great tip if you're going on holiday or traveling is to get a slim grinder like this Porlex that will fit inside your AeroPress perfectly and take up less space in your bag. If there's any other sort of hints and tips that you're interested in, then do follow our YouTube channel where you'll find more.